We might have gone too dark on that series finale. With its absolutely rapid fire pace of jokes, there's no way any viewer could catch all of them in one sitting. So we've got you covered with this list of jokes and Easter eggs you might have missed in BoJack Horseman. All you have to do is smile and stay upright. I don't know, it sounds like a lot of work. Number one, apparently BoJack is too cool for metaphors. During BoJack's rehabilitation, him and other patients jog up to Metaphor Mountain for folks who are running up that hill to fight their battles like the Stranger Things kids did. Number two, the average author bio never was more accurate than for Diane in this episode. When BoJack checks out Diane's bio in the first episode, it states Diane currently lives in Los Angeles with a dog. This dog is her boyfriend, Mr. Peanut Butter. You're dating him? Yes. This is your boyfriend? That is correct. Uh huh. Number three, that's not how you open a can, Woody. In season six, a woodpecker can be seen trying to open a beer can pretty creatively. And no, we don't actually think that's Woody Woodpecker. You understand? Not really. Number four, when you're an animal, you gotta use all your natural gifts. This pelican has a pretty sneaky way of getting his alcohol into the rehab center Bojack eventually visits. Number five, while Justin Timberlake doesn't make a straight up appearance in this show, his name certainly does in animal form. On this poster, you can see a celebrity in Hollywood has the name Justin Timberwolf. Cry me a river. Number six, this next joke might have been too morbid to notice. It seems this patron of the restaurant Bojack is at is about to eat his own lobster claw. Ugh. Number seven. We don't find Flip inspiring, but that's besides the point. It seems Flip, being the thief that he is, has also stolen from Nietzsche with this quote. If you just look at the abyss real quick while it's distracted, you can get a peek. It's actually pretty funny, but too funny for Flip, honestly. Number eight, on time, delayed, or stuff. When Diane wishes to flee Hollywood on the board for flights headed out, it seems that the flight to Turkey is stuffed. Turkey, stuffed, get it? Number nine, if you ever wondered where red arrows come from, check with Diane. As we can see from one of her boxes while she is moving, Diane canonically owns a box of just red arrows. Number 10, this joke feels written just for people like us. In the episode, The Amelia Earhart Story, attentive viewers can catch some opossums selling slogan t-shirts in the background. One of the opossums is holding up a shirt that reads, stop pausing and just watch the show, as an appropriate meta joke. Number 11, please read more than just the title of this next entry. In Hooray, Todd episode, observant viewers can catch some of the content on Diane's company computer. An open web browser shows an article titled, New Study Shows People Only Read Headlines. Too true. Number 12, they eat pizza in the sewers. Let that sink in. In the season three episode titled, It's You, there's a scene where Mr. Peanut Butter and Todd are chasing Mr. Peanut Butter's phone through the sewers, where viewers can catch a glimpse of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles working in the background. Number 13, two celebrity names that are just too perfect for animal parody. A Marlin and a Seal working at the 50s diner are parodies of Marlon Brando and Lucille Ball, who were popular American actors in the 1950s. Number 14. While some Animal World dishes might be great, we don't recommend this one. On Bojack's drive to the Sugarman's summer home in Michigan, he stops at a diner. In the display case to the far left, viewers can see a literal cow pie for sale. Probably not good for human or horse consumption. Number 15. It isn't deep, and it's not the most clever on the list, but it makes us giggle. At the funeral of Herb Kazaz, his nurse bear is eating all the salmon hors d'oeuvres. It makes sense because she is a bear, and bears love salmon. Number 16, you are gonna love this next hidden joke. In Brand New Couch, while listening to a self-help audiobook, Bojack mistakenly heard that he should get rid of the burdens of his life so far instead of so far. When the movers show up at his house with the new sofa, viewers can see that they're working for U-Haul, which is a play on U-Haul. The funniest part? One of the movers isn't you. Number 17. These hidden jokes are really the glue that ties the whole series together. In the BoJack Horseman story, chapter one, the very first episode of BoJack Horseman pulls no punches with its dark jokes and tragic comedy. One particularly amusing scene occurs after BoJack's taken to a hospital due to a mild anxiety attack. 
The hospital sign includes a horse mascot and is titled St. Elmer's Medical Center, which is an obvious pun on Elmer's glue that references the old joke of sending horses to the glue factory. A dark joke for sure, but still pretty funny. Number 18. Tell us if you're old enough to remember this celebrity joke. The pop culture of 2009 was ruled by the mother with eight babies, Octomom. And so an octopus comes to Bojack's party as this costume in Mr. Peanut Butter's boots, as an octopus with babies coming out of her. You see what they did there? Number 19. Bojack really hits the nail on the head with its biting satire. In Hank After Dark, Matthew Fox, who is a wolf, and Scott Wolf, who is a fox, voiced by the real Scott Wolf, present at the 1994 Animal Choice Awards. I'm Scott Wolf. And I'm Matthew Fox. Number 20, Dung Beetle or Tennis Beetle? In Hank After Dark, a worker for Mr. Peanut Butter's show who is a dung beetle pushes a large ball of tennis. But uh, yeah, whatever. Number 21, how meta can BoJack get? Oh, you'll see. Or you'll D in this case. When the episodes for season two first came out on Netflix, the D was dropped on season two in episodes, in reference to Bojack stealing the D from the Hollywood sign in the first season, leading to Hollywood being called Hollywood for most of the show. Number 22, Mr. Burns would be thrilled. As the show must insert every pun possible, a bottle of ketchup is labeled Ketsup in the Bojack world. Now, one could say this was just a pun, but no comedy writer would do this without knowing about Mr. Burns' famous grocery store dilemma from The Simpsons. I'm in way over my head. He's uh, talking to the ketchup now. Number 23. Bojack is pretty quick to catch this inside joke. Most viewers missed this joke on the first go, so much so that it created lots of YouTube videos and Reddit threads asking about it. So Hollyhock's friend Miles signs his messages kilometers, and this is because his name is Miles. Miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Bojack quickly dismisses the inside joke as pretty obvious, but that's probably because he's in dad mode, so his humor matches what he believes to be true about him. Miles is a really interesting soul, and I feel like we uh, connected. Okay. Sit down. Number 24. Vacuum settings can be confusing, but this next sight gag takes it to the next level. While it seems Bojack has just had a bunch of vacuums running for no reason, check out the positions of all these vacuums. They are quite lewd, as the internet slang goes. Number 25. The pun never ends in Bojack Horseman. While shooting a film in Mr. Peanut Butter's house, one of the film crew is a crocodile, and they're wearing Crocs. You know that popular footwear that is very comfortable but very embarrassing to be caught in? Just some Croc on Croc action for you folks. Number 26. This would be the human equivalent of pouring hot coffee all over yourself. When a merger is happening at Princess Carolyn's work, one salty slug pours a box of salt on himself after the terrible news. So for you folks who didn't grow up watching Animal Planet, salt is not good for slugs and leeches. Very, very not good. Number 27. This might be the funniest dumb joke on the list. When Diane visits her not-so-great family, the reunion includes some very on-the-nose shirts with the phrase ball game on one of her brothers and sports on the other brother. If you didn't get it, her brothers like ball games and sports. Number 28. This background bit begs a few unanswered questions. While Diane hangs out with her boss, in the background we see a sad hare and three happy tortoises celebrating. This leads us to believe that this is a tortoise versus the hare joke, with the tortoises coming on top. But why are there three turtles? Here's one theory. They swapped out with each other during the race in order to keep up their stamina. So they cheated. We'll never know, but it's a pretty fun gag. Number 29. Before you walk all over us, let us explain this next gag. While Todd and Holly Hawk break into Channing Tatum's mansion, Diane is at his front door. If you look closely, Channing Tatum's doormat is Step Up to the Door, as in his famous role in the dance film Step Up and Step Up 2. Neither films featured a burnt out horse actor. Number 30. Gamers definitely noticed this next hidden bit. 
While establishing Princess Carolyn's apartment, we see this frog crossing the street. A clear shout out to the most famous unlucky frog ever. Frogger. For the uninitiated, the game featured a frog desperately dodging traffic and other obstacles to cross whatever area he was in. Those were all our favorite moments you might have missed in BoJack Horseman. Any you noticed that we didn't mention? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more animated content. And thanks for watching The Things Animated.